Well, it's Tuesday at 3 o'clock, and it's time for your favorite show and ours, First Things First. Okay, Nick, are you surprised Deshaun Watson hasn't bounced back? No. He's not good anymore. And Period. It's, it's not coming back, and he knows it, and that was, I think you saw it manifesting itself in those bizarre face mask penal- penalties. Wow. A quarter of any player getting two 15-yard face mask penalties is rare. A quarterback getting two in a game, damn near unprecedented. And I think it was born out of frustration, born out of the fact that he can't. he's not as escapable as he once was, born out of the fact that it has been years, years since he was a winning quarterback, almost as long since he had any signs of being a good quarterback. And right now, he's objectively, since his return from his suspension last year and now into this year, a bottom five quarterback in football with no reason to believe that is going to change. And that's before you even incorporate the fact the best weapon he had, Nick Chubb, tragically is done for the season. And so, no, I, I, this is going to go down as one of the worst transactions in all of sports history. The Browns are, if Kevin Stefanski is going to pay with his job. Correct. But in the meantime, there's going to have to keep running him out there. I'm, you seem shocked, Brew. I'm shocked you're shocked. Well, look, he obviously hasn't been playing well. I'm just shocked that you said he is no longer a good quarterback yeah. and won't be, yeah. and he knows it. Yeah. I, I mean, so I, you're not wrong at this point. I, I don't know that he knows it. I'd be shocked if he knew it, if he felt like, I'm done. Like, the way you said it is like, you know, you're 28 years old. He just turned 28. That's why I'm surprised. Not that he hasn't gotten back to what he did in Houston, where he was arguably a top five quarterback. Mm -hmm. No doubt. But because, as you said, he's not even close. All right? And he is a bottom five quarterback right now in the league. And that's what's surprising to me. I don't think he knows it. I... At 28 years old, there's no way he should be thinking, I'm done, I'll never be good again. Why not? The money's Because you're, you. you're young and you're still athletic, even if he can't escape like he used to, to. Like, it's not like he's 30. Like, even Russ. If Russ really is done, Russ is 30, what, five years old? 34, 34. 35 years 34 old? 34 and has won a Super Bowl and has done a lot. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers, if he's done, you know, even he's before 40. the injury, he's 40 or about to be 40. 28? And you mentioned it's been years since he was productive, which is true. But, of course, he sat out a year and a half. Now, his fault, no doubt. Even before all the The, shenanigans. All the field allegations. and the Just him deciding in Houston, I won out and not playing that year before all this even came to light. So, it's his fault. But he can look at this and say – it's been a year and a half since I – or I sat out that year and a half, so that's why I haven't been good. Even that last year in Houston when they went 4-12, and 12, no, he played No, well. that's what I'm saying. So the, just the timeline of it, we're in 2023. In 2022, he missed 11 games and was bad in the other six. In 2021, he sat out himself. Yeah. In 2020, his numbers were excellent, but the team was 4-12. and 12. Right. And they had in, lost DeAndre. In Hopkins. 2019, his numbers were great. The team was great. They lost to the Chiefs in the second round of the playoffs. That so it is 2019. Mm-hmm. Last time he was part of a winning team. But 2020, but the last time he was good. But you can't to say that when he's missed a year and a half. And look, last year, you probably give him some leeway on that as well. I gave him some because he he played six games, but was rusty, didn't play well. But here's the thing, Wilds. He as bad as he was last year. He's been worse this year in virtually every category. Now, I don't think the offense is tremendous for him. You know, Stefanski's a lot of run game and timing stuff. And in Houston, Deshaun was very, you know, spread offense and all that. Maybe they'll incorporate a little more of that with Chubb out. But I, I look, he hasn't looked good. I'm just saying at 28, I'm not ready to say he'll never, like, be – a decent quarterback. So if you put last year on rust, right? Yeah. Came back this year. He was bad in camp. We started to hear bad things yeah. in camp. Like, oh, he hasn't completed two back passes to back in a row. Like, in what? practice for the first two weeks of camp. So I- here's the, the question, and you yeah. mentioned it, Kevin Stefanski. It feels very similar to what Sean Payton has with Russ. Like, we've got a lot of money tied up in our quarterback. 
We can't move off of my – this is my first headline I saw, how long until the Browns it's can impossible. get out of Deshaun Watson's contract. That's right. This is from uh, Jason mm-hmm. Shandle. Mm-hmm. But here's the other idea. Kevin Stefanski, since getting rid of Baker, has been headed in the opposite direction. 2020 with Baker, 11th in yards per play, 14th in points, then 20 and 17th, 18 and 18, 2022. That was the Jacoby Deshaun yeah. first kind of go-round. And then now we're at 17th and 22nd. Yeah, I, so at some point, the Haslam's are going to say, "All right, well no. we're tied to Deshaun Watson. Stefanski, Listen, it's time yeah, for you he, to go." He's, he's gonna he's gonna get fired. Uh, I I don't know if it's totally fair. I'm also not wildly impressed by, with Kevin Stefanski, the head coach. I wasn't wildly impressed with him. He was the coordinator in Minnesota that led him to get the job. But the, listen, they have paid Deshaun Watson, if you include this year, 92 million dollars. I mean, that's for, just wild. And they owe him another. $138 million. Luckily for them, only $138 million of that is fully guaranteed. He is their quarterback. It is a cap hit each of the next three seasons after this one of 60, I'm sorry, of $46 million. And when you look at the fact that, by the way, they're still this coming draft, they owe their first and their third round pick to Houston for Deshaun. Their decision to, no matter what you think of Baker Mayfield, they would have, objectively speaking, been better writing out Baker for money. another year. That you keep, they, they've traded away the 13th pick of a draft, the 12th pick of a draft, the upcoming draft first-round pick, a two-fourths and an upcoming third. It, it was a horrible it, move. Okay, however, I'm not really – look, I didn't pick the Browns to make the playoffs anyway. Mm-hmm. But I'm not writing them off. Like, this can't be oh, a without decent. without Nick Chubb? The, yeah, without Nick Chubb. Because uh, the run, and, and Chubb is great. I think Chubb is a fabulous running back. Ford looked good Ford yesterday. Ford looked sure. great yesterday. Yeah. And that offensive line is stout. A lot of those sacks are on Deshaun. I mean, that's All the right? other thing. The offensive line is stout. Look, maybe they'll go out and sign, re-sign Kareem Hunt. You know? Maybe. I mean, they But I better. think their run game will be fine. If Deshaun can just be decent, that defense is legit. Yeah, they've they, given up one touchdown with in two Jacoby games. Brissett, Nobody's been in the they red were zone. better. With well, they, the record was similar. No, I, mean, I know, but I think the they're they're, they're five hundred with Deshaun. I they're, mean, four I mean, and four I, I since he's been back. I'm just not look if he I'm if he can get back to playing decent starting quarterback football, which I don't think he. Why can. can't he? Because the other At thing is quickly. I don't know why he's quickly. I, they could be Wilds right. and I mentioned it before the show. I do wonder. When you've gone through at the, you know, to put it as as gently as possible, the massive public embarrassment that he's gone through, and all your money is fully guaranteed, eh, is it worth it to do all, everything I have to do just to get close to being almost as good as I used to be? Really? You think, I I think, look, I I, think, I'm not not buying a football character with this guy. Is a legit thing because remember, remember how high his character was yeah. viewed. I mean, he was viewed as he like an impeccable great character yep. guy, like like a Jalen Hurts type yep. guy. I mean, people remember what uh, the college what's, what's his college coach said? He, he's Dabble like Swinney. Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dabble Swing's like yeah. Michael Jordan on it. But I don't think he's like I got my money. I'm good because he has to face the cameras every day. I don't know. And people, you know what people are thinking about the dude when they look at him. So I don't think it's like. I'll just take the money. I'm good. I think maybe that has damaged him psychologically so much. Putting on a nice, brave face. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's just eating him up inside, which I could could get if that Um, is. All right, so with the Browns in disarray, occasionally just let you in behind the curtain, as Jalen Rose likes to say. We have these meetings, and we set ourselves up, and I'm going to reject this. What? What? Is it time for us – Who's us? You and I. Okay. Yeah. To admit Drew was right me. and apologize about the Ravens. We believed in the hold, Ravens. We had on. some questions really? about the new really? offense. Hold on. Well, hold on. Did you pick no, the I p- Ravens I to the, make the playoffs? I picked playoff. the Ravens to miss the playoffs. Okay. I, then, that no, doesn't then you sound apologize. like belief. The, hold I'm on. not going to apologize. Did Wait you, a moment. Did you I said I wanted to see a little bit if it worked. He played terribly against the Texans. I think he did pick them to make the playoffs. I did pick them. No, I'm not sure. No, no, no. I was looking at the – I looked at the board today. He did have them as a wild card. Tell me if I'm wrong in my ear, Dust. I think he had like 10 teams. No, no, no. no. We actually have it up there. I Here's the thing. The Ravens look – Good. Lamar in week two, 
looked excellent. Sure. Lamar, I thought Brew was much higher on his week one performance than I was. I thought Lamar looked no, no, below he, average right. in I, week I, one. Great, but I thought in yeah. week two he looked excellent. But am I ready two weeks in when even I, who picked the Ravens to miss the playoffs, said after the first month I expect they'll be 3-1? and one. And now, by the way, I think that 3-1 is probably 4-0 oh because the loss was at Cincinnati that I was anticipating. Am I ready? We can show you their schedule to say, oh, yes, Brew's right in picking them to go to the Super Bowl. Their season starts in week nine. Actually, it started two weeks ago. No, I, I no, of course, but let me. I'm just, I mean, we're no, just no, no. stating out no. right. No, no, no. Lies. You're right. What, what, no, no, no. What I, what I meant is, those of us that were pessimistic about them, it was, if you were pessimistic about the Jets, you thought they were going to get off to a terrible start. Sure. If you're pessimistic about the Ravens, it's because you think their final two months of the season are going to obliterate them. That's and that's been the concern. That's been the concern. So I, am I ready to admit Brew was right? The answer is no. Right now, early returns are promising. That's what I'll tell you. What? What do you want? What's not to like? They're going to get better. They're banged. I don't know. They're already banged up. J.K. Dobbins, God bless him. He's a good running back. Left but tackle you know what? and center hurt. Their run Safety game. and corner hurt. They were banged up going into that game this weekend. Yes. And, they, and we saw what happened. Odell's hurt. Odell. Uh, the promise of you Odell. You almost could bake that in okay. that Odell was going to get hurt. Aguilar looked pretty good last week. And Zay weekend. Flowers Nelson Aguilar's been awesome. Zay Flowers great. Look. This offense, and I agree, Nick, they didn't look great. I mean, they beat the Texans week one, so yes. they didn't look great. Last week, they obviously looked good. You can question where is Cincinnati at yeah. if you want. Mm-hmm. But I just think this offense is going to get a lot better. I mean, Lamar is just is going through the process of getting acclimated to this, as is everyone else. The things you can count on are the run game, even without Dobbins, all right, because Gus Edwards – and, and Justice Hill averaged over five yards a Sorry. carry. You can count on the defense. They've been top ten, like the la- seven of the last eight years. You walk into that building, you become a better defender automatically. That's, That's their culture. So defense, run game, and a dynamic quarterback in Lamar who's throwing it. I'm not saying he's Mahomes, but he's throwing it well. Now you got some weapons. Mark Andrews is back. Oh, my. I feel good. <laughs> Well, you should feel good, feel good, but that doesn't mean that it, 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 we are less than one-eighth of the way through the year. But None he, of these scripts have been written. Here's the thing, though. Yeah. You guys have been so anti-Ravens. Oh, Every no. time I bring up Ravens, and Coach no. Mangini was, was right along with you. Coach Mangini. Every time I bring up Ravens, you mocked me, you scoffed me, no. you laughed Hold me on. to scorn. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what laughed you to scorn yeah, means. It's a, I've it, never heard did. that phrase. But I'll, you know what? I'll make you a deal, Brew, because I do like to be fair. Because you're right. They're, 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 I at least had him missing the playoffs. I don't know if I mocked you. Yeah. But I do know when there was mocking and laughing going on. It involves a different 2-0 team. Are you, are you ready to admit you were dead wrong about everything you've said about Baker and the Bucks, Or is it too oh. early to determine? <laughs> too early? I'm, 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 too early? They beat Chicago? Hold on. You guys beat, beat Chicago? Houston. You beat Houston. Uh, Houston, you, I think they're looking better than Chicago okay. right now. Chicago's lost 12 okay. straight games. Okay. C.J. Stroud, the, well, I like are, that of us. Okay, all good. right. So the answer is no on both accounts, no. it would appear. No. Okay. No. All right, let's no. look at the odds to win the AFC. Chiefs. Are you sure are, it's not the NFC? Uh, well, I just made <laughs> one mistake. <laughs> Chiefs at one, Ravens at two, Bills at three. Oh. Frisky Dolphins were How really good. Mighty underrated in Cincinnati. And then the ba- I still think that's too still high. The Bengals fair. are done. Um, all right, yeah, so better bet right, right now to win the AFC Chiefs or Ravens? Brew. 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 Remember, this is on television. People get to see it. Yeah, look, it's recorded. First of all, you know I love Mahomes no, and the Chiefs. No, you don't get to love everyone. I mean, no, Mahomes is my – look, I'm the one Mahomes that declared him Jordan. That's, it's in Sports Illustrated. Thank you, Wilds. It's, it's, it's out guys. there. It's written. All right. <laughs> now, let's see. Uh-huh. One team lost to the Lions, who just got beat at home This by is a Seattle. looking forward question, okay. not a looking back uh, question. In Arrowhead, with all the emotions of watching the Hold banner on. drop, yeah. okay, an, and, an, and, and that same team only scored 17 points against a Jacksonville defense that last year was bottom 10 in the league, okay? okay? This is a looking the forward The other team question. is 2-0 and yeah. and just beat – a team that got to the AFC championship game the last two years. I 
I'll go with the latter. Hold on. Baltimore. Bro. Bro. One leg. No, hold on. The opposing Wait, quarterback okay. was on So, bro, leg. I got a question for you right now. Really? Other than running the ball. What does Baltimore do better than Kansas City? Don't answer City? this. This is one of his tricks. No. It's a question. Look, I know, have... you, I know you think all of a sudden that the Kansas City Chiefs have the steel curtain. Okay? <laughs> do you think Baltimore I, has a better I'm gonna, defense than right Kansas City? Right now, I'm going to say I'm going to bet based on their history, their co- okay, your culture is not defense. Uh, your culture's offense. Y'all no, got culture's winning. Light the culture's up, light winning. Or, By any means necessary. Your culture. So, uh, here's, here's, the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Their culture's say, defense. I'm going to say their defense Let's is just – okay, I disagree. That's fine. Statement. But and, if, but if now we're going to history, because that's what you had to reach for for you that. You don't have a Zay is, Flowers is The history either. is this. No, we have Travis Kelsey. But if the history is this. Mark Andrews. Since – so, John Harbaugh won his Super Bowl – in 2012, the very next year is when Andy Reid got to Kansas City. John Harbaugh started his career in Baltimore, playoff wins every single year, nine and five in the postseason. His first uh, six, or nine and four maybe, nine and four. Pardon me, his first five years because the fifth year he didn't lose. He won right. Super Bowl. Since then, the last decade, he has two playoff wins. He has been to the AFC title game zero times. That's John Harbaugh. In that same time, since Andy Reid's been in Kansas City, he has 12 playoff wins, been in the AFC title game five times. I think John Harbaugh's back coach. I thought we no. were looking forward. We are. Yeah. Didn't That's I keep my point. We're, 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 we're looking forward. No, I said, forward. hold on. So if these teams were to play in the postseason, right, you have one guy who the last decade has done nothing but win playoff games, another guy who's won two in the last decade, and the two quarterbacks, Lamar Jackson, the biggest question mark about him as a player is his performance in the postseason. Three touchdowns, five picks, a 68 passer rating versus Patrick Mahomes, the so the numbers Lamar. are quite different. That was the old Lamar. The, what do you mean the old Lamar? Oh, well, brand new offense, well, the new brand Lamar new scheme, has a, brand new offense to coordinator. The old Lamar is like the only one who's played in a playoff game. But he was the a new different, Lamar it was a very yeah. different And a new Mahomes. So you t- less on. points than the commanders. So in, in, a, in a playoff game, I'm just curious. In a playoff game, who do you trust more, Lamar or Patrick? Patrick. Who, in a playoff game, who do you trust more, Andy or Harbaugh? Exactly. So, no, I, I don't know. so the, the Okay, yeah. So I would say a better bet's the Chiefs. They have the better coach, the better quarterback, and right now the better defense. I don't know. It's simple. Right man. now. You got, you're talking simple. a lot of trash for Isn't a team he? that's scoring 17 points a game. A defensive team. <laughs> it's a defensive Come on. team. That's, Come on. Defensive team. It's like that's you guys not are not a defensive culture. team. Y'all don't oh, even really? like Why not? That. Because they're like, like Roquan Smith, here's all this team. money. Like Chris Jones, no, you got to go to the game in a suite. Pay for your own ticket. Michael Parsons says people are hating on the Cowboys. Really? I guess so. Next on. It's you. He's talking about Brooke. Fox Sports Channel really? Series 6. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.